Alrighty now, it's time for evolution. Welcome to the Gonna Art family. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a face tutorial. So this is going to be, I'm going to have this tutorial separated into two parts. So I'm going to show you guys a, a real life example as I'm showing you right now with this fishbowl. And then I'm going to be showing you guys a drawing demonstration and, and a few notes as well. And so, when you're starting, when you're starting the face, uh, this is in, in, a fun, in its fundamental form. The face looks like a a circle, a, uh, a sphere. Okay. However, it's not completely 100% a sphere because when you rotate it towards the side, the face has a flat surface, and this is where the, the ears or so will go. Okay. So towards the side, if you're drawing a side profile, the, the face is going to have a flat surface similar to how this fishbowl is okay so both sides are going to be this very flat surface okay and so on this on this side of the section for the, the side profile uh this isn't going to be uh this this is going to be an, an opening okay it's because there's, there's a lot more you can visually see what's going on compared to the other side here but you know it's still going to be a closed flat shape for the face okay so when you're drawing the face from a, a straight up a straight up uh, a side profile this center circle is you know going to remain it towards the center and if you're drawing it from a uh, a ant's eye view or ant's eye perspective uh, and let's say we're rotating the camera a little bit more this is going to you, you're going to start to see more of the bottom okay and the bottom is looks similar to like a crescent moon okay is engulfing that that flat surface okay but you're going to see more of the bottom portion of the the head okay and so if you were to look at it from a bird's eye view is is exactly the same thing and you know we have also there's also like different degrees as to how how much you would like to the face to rotate etc but that's up to you all right, so I'm going to show you guys a few visual examples as to what I was talking about. And if you guys didn't know, this method is called the, the Loomis method, the Loomis head method. You can go check it out. And so uh, for, for this, I'm going to be showing you what I went over. So this is, you know, you can imagine this is the fishbowl. All right. And let's say we're looking at looking at the head from straight straight. <clears throat> We'd have another circle towards the center. Okay. Yeah, so we'd have another circle towards the center if we were looking at it straight up, all right? So if we were to like draw another one, another example of what I showed in the fishbowl, we're gonna, I'm going to be showing the showing the uh, the ant the ant side view, okay? And so if we're looking at it from the ant's perspective, or if we're looking at it from bottom to top, then you know we'd have the circle appearing towards the, the top, and we start to see more of. The bottom portion okay and remember when i mentioned the crest the crescent moon right so this portion this bottom portion it, it looks like a crescent moon is engulfing this tiny circle all right and so if i if i were to uh go from again a bird's eye view once more if you were to do a bird's eye view again it's the same exact thing as this we're just going to it's just going to be uh just going to be uh looking at it from the top portion because since you're a bird you're looking at it more from the top as opposed to the bottom if you're an ant you're looking at it more from the bottom as opposed to the top okay and this is straight up all right so this is if we were rotating it up all right all right so if we were like looking down at it all right and so if we were to like go like full frontal all right so if you we were to see a bit more of the, the front face then we'd have this going towards the other direction all right all right so we'd have like imagine this fishbowl going in towards uh this direction okay if we were to like see the the front face okay so i'm going to show you guys that right now and so you'll have something that looks similar to this okay so rem rem remember that remember this crescent moon that's engulfing the circle all right and so here's a example of, a, of the notes here 
and so I have different color markers just to indicate the two the two forms that we're playing with all right so again these would be this would be similar to that fishbowl concept that I was talking about all right and so now if we were to draw it from a side profile then you'll see that these are like they're like perfect circles or they're like full circles okay there, there, there won't be much of a distortion going on between these all right unless we, unless uh we uh rotate this portion a little bit more all right so if we were if we were if the, the bird were to like go you know full bird okay if we were to like go over this more then we'll start to see that circle start to squish a little bit okay so we're i'm going to show you guys that example here so let's say this face right here was rotating this way okay more so we get to see more of this person's face. So I'd have this fishbowl here, and then I'll bring this up. I'll bring this like down, like it'll start to become an eclipse. Okay, it'll, yeah, it'll start to become an eclipse as opposed to the full circle. So uh, check out my my cylinder tutorial on understanding the, the cylinder, so that you understand the concept of what I'm talking about. And so this is the uh, this would be the eclipse more, and you start to see that this this uh, this moon shape, this crescent moon shape, it starts to get a little bit a little bit more fatter, right? And also, as I showed showed here in the notes here. Uh, you, you see these crosshairs? These these crosshairs. I'm going to go into, into more later on in in a part two when I go into drawing of the face. All right. And so now that this this part is done, uh, just just a little glimpse of what's going to be in part two. So we have these crosshairs, right? And these are going to be straight. Okay. We're, since we're dealing with a, a flat surface, these are going to be also straight, okay? The, they're not going to curve unless you're going on a curved surface, okay? This is, this is the curved surface and this is the flat surface. When they curve on a, on a curvy surface, okay? This is when we start to get into detail with all that, but I'll show, show you guys later on in the video, all right? And so, and, and, and for this portion here, this is where you generally put your ears okay this is generally where you would uh, place your ears so I won't go into detail now for that so this is this should be enough for a beginner to understand a concept to practice this you know and if and, and if anything uh, you know go back to that observation tutorial I did with the fishbowl and try to spot out what I did try to spot out exactly what it looks like in real life and then transition into actual drawing so like go back to the video and like look at uh try to see more clearly the crescent moon and the, and the center circle etc and yeah that'll be the video part two is coming and yeah hope you guys enjoyed peace out